Today, we're going to be installing the Whitestone Dome Premium Screen Protector and seeing if you should pick one up for your S22 Ultra. If you've seen Whitestone Dome installations before, then you'll know it's quite full on in comparison to other screen protectors on the market. So what's in the box? You get two screen protectors, this frame, protection stickers for the buttons, an earpiece protection, the adhesive, and this weight that you'll need to put on the screen protector. To start with, you'll need to turn off the device so it doesn't come on during the installation. Now, if you grab the black stickers and place one over the bottom of the device, making sure you cover up the S Pen, charging port, and speaker. Then repeat the process on the top of the phone to cover up the microphone, and then on the side to cover up the buttons. This will protect them against any adhesive. Next, grab the insulation tray and foam inserts and insert them into the frame. Now you can put your phone into the tray from the back. Ensure the tray is the correct way up. Next up, you are going to need to clean the screen. Grab the included wipe and wipe any oil and debris off the screen. Next, use the microfiber cloth and dry the screen off. Lastly, get your dust stickers and dab it onto the screen. Take your time here and get everything off. Now you'll need to remove the protective back off the earpiece protector and place it onto the frame and phone. Then grab the plastic holder and place it onto the frame to keep it in place. Then you can slide this black plastic insert which will hold the protector up. Next, you'll need to place the plastic bridge in which will hold the adhesive above the screen and allow it all to pour out. Before you grab the adhesive, make sure that no more dust has gone onto the screen. If it has, just grab the dust collector and repeat until it's all gone. Now, grab your adhesive and take off the pink end. Place it into the bridge over the screen. Next, you'll need to carefully undo the back end at which point the adhesive will pour out. Wait 30 seconds for all the adhesive to pour out. Once the adhesive is poured out, you can remove the bridge and tube. Now, grab the screen protector and remove the back from it. Place the bottom of it at the bottom of the screen and rest the top on the black plastic part. Now, grab the screen weight and lower it onto the screen carefully. Next, you'll need to rock the frame towards you so the adhesive runs down the screen until it gets to the middle of the phone. Once it does, pull out the plastic tab at the top so the top of the screen protector falls down. Now, set a timer for 110 seconds for the adhesive to spread around the screen. While this is happening, grab your UV light and a power source for it. Then, once the 110 second timer is up, take the weight off the screen protector. Next, grab the UV light and place it over the bottom of the phone. Press the button once and the UV light will be on for 15 seconds. You'll need to repeat this process for the middle and top, 15 seconds for each. Once that's done, you can remove the phone from the frame. Then remove the protective strips from the top, bottom and buttons of the phone. Grab another wipe and wipe all sides of the phone in one direction. When all excess adhesive is removed, grab the UV lamp and place it over the bottom and press the button twice to set it to 60 seconds. Then. Repeat on the top for 60 seconds again. Then repeat one more time for 60 seconds on the bottom and top. Once this is done, wipe the screen clean and turn your phone on. 
Now, go to your phone settings and re-add your fingerprint with the screen protector installed. As you can see, fitting the Spigen Tough Armor case, that the screen protector will work well with any case. However, if you don't have a case installed, I felt that the edges are a little sharp to the touch. Overall, this is a great screen protector and certainly won't come off the phone easily at all. I suppose if you're willing to go through the trouble of this installation, then it's probably worth it. However, I wish you could just send the UV lamp back after installation rather than it going to waste. Thanks for watching this installation video. If you want to purchase this screen protector for your S22 Ultra, please head to the links in the description below and please subscribe for more S22 Ultra videos.